Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Let's get into this episode of the Have and Have Not Season 5, Episode 3, Undercover Vice. So we start out with the lovely Miss Hannah going in on Benny about Veronica. Because, you know, Hannah is down at the hospital. She had to go down to the morgue to collect the stuff from Little Q's pockets. And she runs into Benny and she's trying to figure out why Benny's at the hospital. And of course, Benny being Benny, he tells her why he's there. And the nurse comes over while he's talking and, and says, you know, Veronica's asking for you what not. Look, last time I checked, Benny down there 30 years old. Hannah, how you going to tell him he can't talk to Veronica? I can't blame you though, because as a mother... I'm going to be telling my son the same thing. He better leave Veronica alone. The lady ain't nothing but trouble. But see, at the same time, Benny is doing right. Because if something happened, Veronica is good at what she does. And she will be the one to get him out of any kind of trouble should he be in in anything. And plus, if, if anything goes wrong with this situation he's being in with Mitch's cuckoo quat family, um, Veronica is who he going to need to talk to. So... Um, that's really who he need to have in his, his corner. But now I think more than ever, she really going to be attached to Benny and she really going to be wanting to, uh, be close to him and whatnot. Cause you know, who else she right? Who else does she have? She don't burn all her bridges. She really don't have any friends. Her only one, which was Catherine, she burnt that bridge when she had the lady son raped. But we're not going to get into that because that's, that's past news. We're going to have to keep it moving. So Candace is about to try to rob this black guy over at the hotel, which is a truck driver. She let her know out the gate. She, he'll pay, she'll pay date and whatever. She comes, she just manipulating people coming on strong or whatnot. Already telling him to come up to the room. Now, first of all, at the gate, she should have known that something was fishy when he was just trying to, uh, you know, head her off and just really trying to get to know her. And <laughs> when he said he was a truck driver, she going to say, you can't afford my services anyway. Well, all right, it is. How she know? Because some truck drivers is paid, honey. You better get on your little cellular device and do some research. Because some of these truck drivers is banking. But anyway, did she say, come up there in his undies? Oh, did she say, what did she tell him? Because I don't watch this show like twice trying to understand what she told him. But anyway, moving on. We're going to get to the tea with that in a minute. So... The senator is not catching the hint that Landon is gay. I think Landon has a crush on the senator. He trying to be slick with it. I went down there and got the uh, senator drunk. Then the senator sitting up in the room running his mouth, getting undressed. And Landon over here messing with this drink tray, trying to catch him a little peep. And he lingering around in this room. He going to mess around and get fired when this senator find out he gay and remember him lingering around in this room, trying to cop him a quick peep. Talking about church fan. He going to get fired again. <laughs> Trying to be fast. But anyway, D.A. George, Lord have mercy. He is obsessed with this whole Veronica situation. Because he trying to figure out now why Veronica turned her own, her own son in. Um, and this whole situation with Jeffrey and, and Justin and Veronica. Because he know Veronica is pretty slick. But now I'm at the point where I feel like he want Veronica to go down. Go down more than he wants the cries to go down. I feel like he going to have it out for Veronica more than he got it out for the cries. Because he knows something ain't right about the situation. She turned in her own son. And I'm so glad that that doggone Justin stopped trying to run in there and tickle Jeffrey booty long enough to go get the boy daddy to get him out of jail. I mean, my goodness, leave him long enough and go handle your business. If you want to see him that bad, get him out of there. And I think he just liked Jeffrey in jail so he can be over there and, and boss him around and harass him and whatnot. But anyway, 
And Justin goes over there to get David. Erica dumps himself over there hiding around the corner. <laughs> like a smooth criminal. <laughs> Lying, talking about her ex was a police officer. More like her her ex was wanted by some police officers with her lying self. But I'm so tired of David begging her. David, get a hint already. But number one, she playing hard to get so she won't like a gold, the, the gold digger that she is. But I'm so over it. Dude, stop begging her. I'm so sick of her playing him like it, it ain't like she got somewhere else to go or something better to do. But again, like I said in my last review, I, I, she better be going to see if war really dead because I'm, I'm still, I still personally don't believe he really dead. Y'all, we'll wait. Why, um, going to call Jeffrey phone and <laughs> Justin answering the phone and he's still on this stuff, to, uh, um, talking about where is Jeffrey and Justin trying to threaten Wyatt about how he gonna go to the boy house. He don't know why not the one to mess with you. Better ask somebody. Why it ain't no punk. You ain't gonna be punking him out and intimidating, scaring him. You gonna run over there and mess around and get your butt whooped. Just cause you toting that little gun don't mean you can keep bullying people around and whatnot. You think you're going to do to Jeffrey what you did to Veronica? You got nothing coming because uh, Jeffrey always be a step head with his millions of dollars. Keep on messing around. You the one that's going to get busted because Jeffrey going to uh, make you go down for the stuff you keep doing to him. But I'm, I'm really tired of Ju Justin acting like a little jealous high schooler with all of Jeffrey's friends. This is, this is getting to be too much. But anyway, Catherine is still trying to play matchmaker with Hannah and Derek, the little construction worker, which they would be a cute couple. Hannah do need to be dating instead of terrorizing her kids, and she need to go back to work for Hannah so she can have a stable life. And I've said this in all my other reviews, and I'm going to say it again. Yes, I understand what Hannah did, the, the role that Hannah played with Benny and whatnot, but she done forked that more than enough money, and she done apologized more than enough times, and she done done more than enough to this family, and her daughter done done more than enough back to their family for them to call it even and have her to get back to work. Cause where else she gonna go to work at? And she keep going on about how she need money and she want to work, do this and that. Then Hannah, Hannah go to work. I'm so tired of hearing her mouth about her, her whining and her. She just be acting ungrateful. I'm not the one to just be like taking houses from people, but at the same time, I'd have been if you're gonna give me a house and I'm homeless, I'm gonna be grateful. Cause it ain't like people doing that for a lot of folks nowadays. Now I've heard about it happening in real life, but somebody trying to help you, oh, sit down and please be humble. Melissa <laughs> had to be checked uh checked out at the hospital, y'all. Y'all already know she don't care about the baby. She's sitting up in there, the doctor trying to check her out. And she done just outright and said she didn't care. And he go, she gonna ask about Veronica because she trying to see if Veronica's still alive. When she told that doggone daughter, doctor, that, uh, <laughs> she wasn't happy about Veronica being, um, uh, alive. She was like, like hell, she's alive. The doctor just, he, he was just, just lost. He didn't know what to do when he, he thought he was giving her. <laughs> Good news. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> she was so disgusted. But when Melissa went up in that doggone room and Veronica thought she was going to be uh, bossing her around and, and no more, it ain't going to be no more pulling and slapping on Melissa. Not no more. Because Melissa, she went to try to pull. <laughs> Pull on Melissa after Melissa come took her credit card. And uh Melissa just started screaming in the room. And then Veronica gonna say, Yeah, you falling for it. I she like she setting her up to have her committed. I personally don't think Melissa gonna get committed because if Veronica thinks she's gonna have Melissa committed and take that baby, I don't think she's gonna have her committed. I think what's gonna eventually happen is Veronica, I mean, Jeffrey, 
And Melissa is going to end up moving in with David. And they're going to see about that baby with Jeffrey. And Jeffrey, and he going to find him a new love. I, Lord, I hope it ain't Jessica's Justin crazy. And they're going to have this baby. And they're going to be a big, happy family. And Erica going to go back to war. She going to go find her another sucker. She going to do something. But she ain't going to. I don't know. She too much. Anyway. <laughs> It's going to be something. I can't wait to see. Because y'all know this show is interesting. So I'm ready to see how it unfolds. But anyway. So y'all seen in the last episode that Rocky was talking about. They were running a prostitution ring. So he, he working at the bar. Basically helping women find Johns that they can seduce and set up. And he over there watching Cameron work. So it's a new girl there now. <laughs> that Candace finna try to. Push your phone. She gonna mess around, and get her butt whooped. I don't, I don't know, but this new girl may be the one to get handle Candace and whoop her butt. Cause Candace thinks she's somebody pimp. I don't know. She gonna get get it together. Then this old vice cop sitting over here trying to pretend he a John. If he was gonna pretend to be a vice cop, they could at least put him in a high dollar suit. Washed his hair, gave him a haircut, and made him look like he a money. He from some money or something. They got him sitting over there looking like busted Bobby, looking just as broke as he want to look. How you gonna go try to pick up somebody in a fancy hotel like Candace and you over there with a Walmart suit on, looking as broke as you looking? <laughs> Boy, by they ought to been shaming. They said trying to pull it. I don't know somebody like Candace that y'all know smart and intelligent. Really, for real. <laughs> y'all was going to really try to pull that. Okay. If y'all say so. Like I said, they, they, they couldn't even give them a haircut. But anyway, moving on. <sighs> okay. So this is what got me. Jim called down to, to the police station to the lady that's working for the, the DEA, working for George. Is that his name, George? And he was like, get your butt you over here, whatever. What he got going on with her? I can't wait to see this little bit of tea. This show keep you on your on your um P's and Q's. Cause he got some kind of little something going on with her. This is why it's so hard for them to to catch them up. Because they keep something going on. So I'm wanting to know what's going on with them two. Because the DA, he keep digging. Because he know it's something. But I just want to know how Jim know this lady and what they got going on. How he slept with her too. Did she used to be an escort? Like, what is it? Anyway, so Hannah, now let's get on down to the good part. Hannah carried the letter that she found. She had Benny. I don't know why Benny want to carry Hannah over to see Candace because we already know this is not going to go well. So, Benny carried Hannah to see Candace. Oh, excuse me. Here they go. You know they're going to argue. Candace can't stand her. I don't know if she still can't stand Candace is what the deal is. So they had a regular argument or whatever. She gave Candace the letter. She, Candace shed a few tears or whatnot, what have you. Candace still wishing her mama was dead. I'm so tired of her acting like it's their fault. This is Candace's fault. War, like, like, and I'm glad Benny finally said, War didn't come in there looking for them. He came in there looking for her. It's her fault the baby got killed because he wasn't trying to come shoot them. He was trying to come kill her, and that's why the baby got killed. It's her fault her son dead, and until she admit that, mm -hmm, she going to forever be mad. Don't y'all agree? Y'all agree? Don't y'all? I, I know. And she killed the old son, and she... and and. Anyway, so they up in the room and asking her what she about to turn tricks. Hell, she told them the truth about turning tricks and they still mad. They mad at her if she lying. They mad at her if she telling the truth. 
Why y'all even ask her anything if y'all gonna stay mad at her? Y'all called her all kinds of lies and tell her the truth ain't in her. But then yet when she finally do tell y'all the truth, y'all still mad about it. I don't know. Y'all just have me even confused. I be about as confused as Candace. Should I lie? Should I tell the truth at this point? I might as well keep lying and y'all ain't gonna never believe the truth. But anyway. So why is she going on about that? Old boy comes up. That's supposed to be her booty call. And she telling him to stay. That And Ben and them telling him to go. And then Candy's like, no, he's staying. Blah, blah, blah. They all into it. And then Hannah going to say he needs to go. And then, of course, Candy's, Candy's trying to get all in her face and all about it. And then Hannah going to drop that bomb. Church fan. Lord, church fan. He's your father. Luke, he's your father. The ish done hit the fan. She up here trying to turn tricks on her daddy. Now, this is my question for y'all. Do y'all think he knew Candace was his daughter and he was going up there to, to tell her that? Or do y'all think he didn't know? I don't think he knew. I do not think he knew. I think he had reservations about it. I don't know. My my daughter and I talked about it. My daughter said she think he knew. That's why downstairs he was just trying to kind of head her off some. So y'all need to drop me a comment and let me know. Do y'all think he knew that Candace was his daughter? Leave me a comment. Me and my daughter had a discussion about this. I wish she was here for this review because we really got deep down in, in there. Because I sure really, really want to know. So anyway... Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next review. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification button so y'all know when I upload another recap or review. Be sure to go to my next video. If you hadn't seen my previous videos of this show, be sure to, to watch them. I'll leave them right after this. Thank you, guys.